Hi, Aiden Durham here, business and branding attorney with 180 Lawco in Colorado. I work with a lot of businesses sole proprietors, single member LLCs, freelancers, partnerships, corporations, you name it. You know what all of these businesses have in common? Well, aside from making the very smart choice of working with me, of course. They've all understood the importance of accounting. Am I an accountant? No. Am I an accounting expert? Also no. Funny story in fact, I actually started my undergrad first semester as an accounting major. I mean, you know, I'm good with numbers. I like math and money as much as the next gal. But I learned pretty quickly that accounting is much more than just math and money. So I changed that up real quick. Anyway, I ended up switching and I got a degree in finance in the end, so it's really not all that different anyway. The point is, even if you're like me and maybe not a huge fan of accounting, there are still a few important things that you need to know about accounting in order to have a profitable and successful small business. Before we get into what those things are, I wanna give a very special thank you to our friends over at Lilly for sponsoring this episode. Lilly is a financial technology company that gives back time and money to solo business owners. And they do this by combining a business checking account with a suite of tech-driven solutions. You can check out Lily and learn more by visiting this link or check the link in the description. So not only am I going to tell you what accounting is, why it's so important, and a few important things that you can do today to put your business in a better position financially and accounting-wise, I'm also going to show you why Lily may be one of my favorite accounting tools for sole proprietors, freelancers, and single member LLCs. Might be one of my favorite things named Lily, in fact. Want to know what my top favorite thing named Lily is? My niece, Lily, of course. And if Lily were here with me today, I'm sure she would tell you all this. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to click the little notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a new episode. So thank you, Lily, to all the Lilies of the world. All right, now, what is accounting? What does this thing accounting mean? The term accounting refers to how a business records, processes, organizes and understands its financial information. Following good accounting practices allows us to properly track our income and expenses and have a clear picture of our business's financial position and financial health. It lets us know if we're making a profit, what our cash flow is, tells us about the company's assets and liabilities, it can help with getting loans or funding or outside investments, and it helps us determine which parts of our business are actually making money and identify gaps in our business or our services and ways to expand or add new revenue. Okay, great, but like, can I just let the accountants and lawyers and CPAs handle all this stuff? Why do I really need to know about it? Well, yeah. Sure, if your business is profitable enough that you can afford to outsource a lot of this accounting work to accountants, CPAs, or other professionals, perfect, do it. There are some aspects of accounting that I handle for my clients. But even if we, the professionals, are doing the heavy lifting for you, there are still some things that we need you to do so we can do our jobs properly. And besides, a lot of solo business owners just can't afford to outsource some of this work. Sometimes, especially in the beginning, we have to pick ourselves up by the bootstraps and do it all ourselves. We have to be our own accountants, our own bookkeepers, our own lawyers, our own everythings, because we just can't afford to hire a professional to do it. Whatever your situation may be, sometimes we just gotta figure shit out and handle things ourselves. So what are some things that you should be doing to properly manage your business's finances and accounting? Well, the first should, I hope, should be a no-brainer. Separate 
bank accounts for business and personal. You want to have a dedicated business bank account or multiple dedicated business bank accounts that you use exclusively for your business. You should not be using your personal checking or personal savings accounts to pay for business expenses or to receive payments or take your business's income. Number one, for accounting reasons, of course, if we're trying to track business deductions and keep an eye on our business expenses, how much we're spending on what and be able to track all of this stuff, it's going to be immensely easier if we know, okay, this account is all business stuff. We don't have to filter through the transactions on my personal account to figure out what was personal, what's business, how much of this is business, how much are we actually able to deduct, none of that mess. Just get a separate business bank account that you only use for business purposes. Aside from the accounting financial reasons, this is an absolute must if you are operating your business as a single member LLC. Separating your personal assets from your business assets, including your business bank accounts, credit card accounts, and other expense financial accounts is the number one thing that you can do as a single member LLC to avoid piercing the corporate veil and avoid having your personal assets or your personal money or accounts be up for grabs due to a liability or debt from the business. So if you are a solo business owner, whether you're a freelancer, sole proprietorship, or as an LLC, if you don't already have a dedicated business bank account, do that today. Do it right now, in fact especially if you are operating as a single member LLC. And this, of course, is where Lily comes in. Lily is redesigning the banking game specifically with freelancers and solo business owners in mind. They offer a free checking account for sole proprietorships and single member LLCs with no minimum balance requirements, no hidden fees, fee-free ATM withdrawals at thousands of locations, mobile check deposit, and a Visa business debit card with cash back rewards. But that's not it. Because Lily only works with solo business owners, they offer a ton of other great features that you won't find with other traditional banking options. All right, cool. We got that first part out of the way. We got our business bank account set up. We are set with that. Next thing, next thing you can do probably right now, today, to put yourself and your business in a better financial and accounting position is to get a good accounting program or accounting software. Especially if you are new to business or you can't afford to outsource this to a bookkeeper or another accounting professional, you'll need to set up some easy and effective way to manage your business's expenses and finances. The best way to do this is to take advantage of some accounting program or accounting software. There are a lot of us who maybe just use an Excel spreadsheet or maybe even a handwritten ledger. Fine. That's better than nothing, I guess, but much better would be an accounting program or accounting software. Ideally, we want to be able to keep all of our financial stuff in one place so we can keep things organized and have one spot to go if we wanna see exactly what's going on with our business. Again, this is why I love Lily. Because with Lily, you're not just getting any old business checking account. You're getting a checking account plus tax optimizer tools and accounting software all in one. And with no account fees and no minimum balance requirements. From invoicing, payments, expenses, and receipts, you can manage it all from the Lily mobile banking app. You can connect Lily to your favorite payment apps like Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App to transfer money into your Lily account in seconds, connect to your online platforms like Shopify and Uber, and set up direct deposit to receive your money up to two days earlier. You can even connect your Lily account to your external bank account so you can manage all of your money and finances in one place. You really won't need anything else. Now that we've got our accounting software all set up and in place, it is time to use it to get and stay organized. We don't want to be surprised or caught off guard or unprepared for anything. So even if your accounting platform or software tracks all of your expenses, we are still going to want to save our receipts. This is gonna be helpful for taxes, of course, if we need to double check what an expense was or what it was for, make sure it was actually a business expense. 
but we're also going to do this in case of an audit. If the IRS comes a knock in, wants to see proof of our business deductions, our expenses, we're gonna want to have those receipts available and easily retrievable so we can give them to the IRS get this thing over and done with. And please do not just throw all of your receipts into a box. The point here is getting organized. The point here is ease and efficiency and streamlining things and organize. So scan those receipts so you can safely store and relocate them later or use a receipt scanner tool like the one that Lily offers. You simply snap or upload an image of the receipt, then attach the receipt to the corresponding transaction, then throw that paper receipt in the trash or the recycling bin. It will be safely stored in the Lily mobile banking app and never again will you have to wonder, where did I put those receipts? Good accounting practices include tracking your financial big picture. And it also means planning for taxes. It's important to track and categorize all of your business expenses and deductible expenses so you can take full advantage of your tax write-offs. This is so easy to do with Lily's write-off tracker. And let's not get surprised or caught off guard by a big tax bill that we didn't know was coming. Putting money aside on a regular basis to save for taxes is the way to avoid that from happening. Lily's tax bucket makes this easy by automatically setting aside a percentage of income for taxes. They will even help you determine how much to set aside. We already talked about saving receipts and how Lily's receipt scanner makes this super easy to do. This is gonna be helpful when you're filing taxes so we can double check what an expense was. And again, it's also going to be necessary in the event of an audit. We've been tracking our expenses, categorizing things, keeping good record of all of our business expenses. Again, this is about being able to see the financial big picture of our business. Lily will automatically generate your quarterly and annual business expense reports. So you always know where your business stands and can easily monitor your spending habits. But my absolute Favorite part, the game changer when it comes to Lily, if you ask me. If you've done the work all year, tracking and categorizing your business's revenue and expenses, Lily will pre-fill your 1040 Schedule C form so you can easily hand it over to your accountant or file it with the IRS. That's right, they will actually pre-fill your Schedule C to attach to your 1040 to file with the IRS. You won't have to worry about it. All you have to worry about is making sure everything is properly tracked in the Lily app and they will do the hard work for you and generate those reports and even your Schedule C. Lastly, of course, with accounting, we're taking care of taxes. We want to have our big financial picture available to us, but we're also doing this so that we can save for emergencies and save for the growth of our business. We wanna make sure we are prepared in case of an emergency or some unexpected expenses come up, but we also wanna make sure we're prepared to invest or reinvest in our business's growth. If there is some training program that might help us improve our services, or some platform or software or program that will greatly streamline our processes, we wanna be able to save up money so we can reinvest and grow the business. Business. The best way to do this is treat it like you do your taxes. Set aside little amounts, but do it regularly and consistently. And automate it if possible. So you don't even have to think about it. You don't have to see the money move. You don't have to click a button. It's automatically done. Lily lets you put your savings on autopilot with their automated savings tool. Save for a rainy day or even a really sunny day by setting up an automatic transfer of at least $1 per day to your emergency savings bucket. Whether you're doing it yourself or outsourcing to a professional, it is important to put into place and maintain good accounting practices so we can easily track our revenue and expenses and have a clear picture of our business's financial position. Without it, we'd never know if we're making a profit. If we have good cash flow, it's gonna be really tough to get any, any kind of loans, funding, or outside investments. 
tax time is gonna be a huge pain in the butt, and we'll never know if we're actually making money or if we're missing out on other potential streams of revenue. If you got value out of this video, why don't you go ahead and hit that little thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you ha haven't already done so and share this video with all of your nearest and dearest. Thank you again to our friends over at Lily for sponsoring this episode. If you're a sole proprietor, freelancer, or single member LLC that's looking for a tool that will give you work-life balance in one account, it really doesn't get any better than Lily. Get started today and open your free account with Lily in less than three minutes by visiting this link or check the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Aiden Durham and I'll see you next time.